so today's video is going to be another random favorites. I had such a good time filming and editing my last one that I wanted to do another one and I've had a few products accumulate over the last month or so. I think it's been about two months since I did my last one. So I'm excited to share some of my favorite things, random things, uh, tech things, kitchen things, food, movies, TV shows, that kind of stuff. So let's do it. Let's start off with Food. I have this pizza here. This is the Amy's Pizza Margarita Pizza. <laughs> this is the um, thinner crust with fresh mozzarella and basil made with organic flour and tomatoes. And this is like the personal size. They do have a bigger size than this, but this is perfect for like lunch. I literally just had it for lunch. See, it's gone. I am kind of following some of the guidelines from the Tone It Up nutrition plan. And this is probably not on the list, but I think since it's so low in calorie and it's just like the perfect like lunch portion um, I really like this and if you're in the mood for like a junky type lunch or a pizza or something Amy's is a really good brand to go for because it's all natural. It's really good quality stuff and uh, Yeah, it's organic. It's amazing. This tastes so freaking good. It's unbelievable and I like to buy these for lunches. They're kind of expensive. They're like five dollars each, but it's worth it <laughs> Let's stick in the realm of the kitchen. I have a dish soap to share. I have a dish soap to share, which is really, really random. But something you need to know about me is I have a very strong hate, aversion, dislike to cilantro. Like I absolutely cannot do it. I'm that type of person that if there's like a little bit of cilantro in my mouth, I freak out. I can always taste it. People make fun of me when I like go out to like a Mexican place and I'm like having chips and salsa. I have to like really like inspect the chip with the salsa on it to make sure that there is no cilantro and they're like you're literally five years old i'm like you don't understand i can taste it even if it's this big in there so i hate cilantro and cilantro tastes slash smells like dish soap to me so i have also developed a strong aversion to dish soap so i have to like really sniff and make sure that the dish soap i'm using isn't gonna make my dishes taste slash smell like cilantro slash dish soap. Di I can't speak. I have to find a dish soap that smells other than dish soap, if that makes any sense. Especially if like the, like the taste and the smell lingers and then it tastes like the dish soap, like I can't even deal. But this wasn't the one I was originally planning on sharing with you. I went through my first bottle of the Palm Olive Lotus one and it's like a purple flowery one. It was so nice and I at first I was like that's kind of weird to use like a flower scented thing on your dishes but you can't taste it you can't really smell it after you're done doing your dishes um so when I went to Target to repurchase it I found this one instead and I smelled it and this is white peach blossom it smells amazing <sighs> so good it doesn't smell like dish soap at all I would like use this to like wash my body like I love it it smells really really good and it does a good job of cleaning your dishes so I'm all for that <laughs> I have a couple of kitchen utensils and these are both from the Food Network line that I found at Kohl's. Kohl's is amazing, you guys. I don't know why I'm talking with the spoons. <laughs> I've always loved Kohl's because they sell Elsie by Lauren Conrad there, and it's nice, cute dresses for kind of cheap. I'm sorry, I'm like messing with my hair. Literally everything is always on sale at Kohl's. Always on sale. So it's like, yeah, it already has amazing prices. Then, then there's a sale, and then like if you know somebody who has a Kohl's card, when I'm like a real grown-up adult, I'm totally gonna have a Kohl's card because I feel like it really, like, is worth it in the end. But um, anyway, <laughs> I am a sucker for spatulas and spoons and kitchen utensils in general. So we were perusing this the kitchen aisle, and there was like a bunch of like rubber spatulas, which are my favorite like I need a whole jar of these but look it's a cute little bicycle it has a basket full of groceries and it's on both sides so it kind of like wraps around it's so cute I like the blue color of it and I liked the wooden stick how it went with this which is a wooden spoon that just has like butterflies carved into it it's so pretty and I love using wooden utensils when I'm cooking so had to get these they were both on sale um i think this was on sale for eight dollars and this is on sale for six dollars but it didn't matter because i had to have them no matter what the price was well i mean obviously if they were like forty dollars forget it <laughs> but yeah i have I, like i haven't even been i haven't even been using these that much they are just like the highlight of my spatula jar so yeah <laughs> last thing for the kitchen is this beautiful jar that i actually got at williams sonoma I wanted to share this because I've always been under the impression that William Sonoma is just a like high-end, very expensive kitchen supply 
cookware type of store, but there are definitely affordable things in there. They, I, I, this, I got this more towards Easter. I got a lot of cute like discount Easter stuff that was on sale. And I got this jar, and I brought this jar home. Now let me preface this with, I had a jar in my kitchen that I loved so much. I had it since I first moved into this apartment. I was cleaning it one day, which that's my, I'm trying to be a good girl and I'm cleaning the jar and that's my karma. I dropped the lid and it broke, but I loved the jar so much that I kept it and I just had foil on top of it and I still actually kept like the jar itself to put like flowers in or something. So I was on the hunt for like a new jar that I absolutely love because I keep rice in here. This is probably a terrible idea. What if I spill it everywhere? Let's see, rice. Ooh, it smells like rice. Me and my boyfriend like to eat rice. <laughs> but anyway, so I found this in William Sonoma and I like fell in love with it and I was afraid to look at the price. I looked at the price and it was $20. It was $19.99 for this really nice, like nicely made jar. And I regret not buying the $30 one as well because it was like different height ones. I should have just got both. It would looked amazing, but I'm okay with this one. <laughs> I got home and I like showed it to my boyfriend. I was like, guess how much this was? And he was like, $40? And I was like, half that bitch. It's amazing and I love the light blue color and floral print is just my jam. So this is amazing. It's a really nice jar and I just wanted to share because apparently William Sonoma has affordable stuff as well. I've literally only had this for four days, but it's life-changing. I got an oil diffuser. I'm hopping on the bandwagon. I've been spending a lot of time at Nikki Philippi's house recently because of JLT stuff and also just because we're friends. <laughs> but she has been diffusing oils like a mofo, and I was like, tell me all about this. And I already started seeing it on um, YouTube. Some people I watch have switched over to diffusing oils instead of burning candles because it's a cleaner burn, which is definitely true. I guess I'd never thought about like how you're probably breathing in awful, terrible chemicals when you're burning candles or when you're um, using the wall plugins. I'm definitely gonna cut wall plugins, I think, from my life. Or, the ones I'm at least using now because they're just terrible chemicals in there for you. Um, so I, I was just interested in this. So I bought this off of Amazon. This is the doTERRA Petal Diffuser. And I wanted this one because I love this color. This is like my favorite color. It's like a mauve purple. Um, a lot. I bought this on Amazon. Did I say that? <laughs> the feedback for this had a lot of them that said that it was hard to open. And I don't understand that because it's the easiest thing in the world to open. So I don't get that. So don't let that throw you. Um, this was about $50. So this is kind of expensive. But... Hopefully it'll be an investment that I use for years and years to come and this I feel like in the long run This might be cheaper than candles depending on which oils you buy I did not buy any doTERRA oils because they're so expensive and I wasn't sure if like I was gonna fall in love with the oil diffusing and like I just got nervous, but I did place an order on Vitacost for a bunch of the now essential oils and I know that they're not like 100% aromatherapy grade like the doTERRA oils are, but I did research and I've talked to people and I know that it's okay to use if you're just using them for fragrance. So regardless, it's still like a cleaner burn and I mainly wanted to get this so I could diffuse lavender in my bedroom while I'm sleeping because I have a lavender pillow spray that I love and I was like, oh, that would be so lovely to just like have it throughout the air while you're sleeping. I, I guess it's not plugged in so I can't really show you. There's a mist button and a light button and there's also an hour setting, two hour setting, and four hour setting, which I love. Especially if like you want to run it while you're sleeping, just run it for an hour and then it'll go off while you've already fallen asleep and it, you don't have to worry about it. Like a candle that you have to blow out. Especially like if I leave the house and I think I left this on and I'm like, oh my god, I left the oil diffuser on, which there's no really chance of this catching fire anyway, but I it would it eases me to know that it would just turn itself off. So I love that about it. I did purchase about, I think I bought six oils um, and I'm still like trying out combinations and what I like. I bought orange, lemon, lavender, peppermint, um, a piece, no, a clean the air blend, and then I bought this jasmine oil. This has been my favorite to burn because I really, ugh, jasmine is one of my favorite scents ever. Um, and this was $7 on Vitacost, which is amazing. It's a pretty big-ish bottle for oil purposes because you only need a few drops. That's another thing I'm learning is like how many drops is too many drops. Like I kind of overdid it with the peppermint last night and I was like dying. <laughs> so I do feel like in the long run it will be cheaper than candles maybe. And of course I'm not completely cutting candles for my life. Once it's like Halloween time and Christmas time I'm gonna have to go buy my like favorite candles. But for my bedroom while I'm sleeping where I can cut the chemicals um, I have been enjoying this and I'm just excited to like get into it more. Um, find my favorite like cocktails of oils and stuff so if you know any let me know 
And uh, yeah, if you diffuse oil, let me know your favorite um, oils because I'm trying to find a store where I can go in and smell them, but I'm having such a hard time, so I just ordered them on Vitacost. And because Vitacost is cheap as hell, I freaking love Vitacost. But um, okay, that was a really long-winded way of saying I'm obsessed with my oil diffuser. And my last tangible favorite, I think that's the word I'm trying to use, is my Erin Condren Life Planner. I don't think I've talked about this on any social media platform yet. I am obsessed with this, and I am planning on doing a full, like, in-depth planner review slash how I plan. But I've only had this for about a month, maybe less than a month now. Let's see. We can see when I got it, when the first day I started writing in it. Uh, yeah, less, almost a month. I've had this for almost a month, and I'm still, like, learning how I like to plan things, but I am really really loving this planner. I've heard people talk about Erin Condren planners for years on YouTube and I never jumped on the bandwagon and I just kind of realized the other day like I'm a big list person. I'm a big writing things down person. I think it's a great way to clear your mind before the end of the day before you go to sleep so you're not like thinking about it. It's on a piece of paper that you can worry about in the morning so I'm big on lists, big on checking things off so a planner for me just made sense and I watched Elle Fowler's Glam Planner intro to planning video and I happened to go on the website just to check things out. These planners are $50, which is steep, but worth it. Luckily, when I signed up, they were $20 off, which is amazing. And when you first sign up, you get a $10 off coupon. So with it, with shipping and everything, I ended up getting this for $30 flat, which is incredible. Like, I was, like, so excited. And But even, like, I will have to repurchase this again next year when it obviously runs out. And I, well, if I have to pay full price, I will because... It has been so much fun, it's like a lifesaver, and like I also use it to like reward myself with stickers. For instance, I write down my workouts at the bottom here, and when I do my workout, when I do my seven miles, I get a star sticker, and it's like you have no idea how much that motivates me to work out that I'll get my star sticker. I just ordered some no soda stickers to try and help me like really not drink soda. I'm really trying to cut out caffeine, and I don't need to be drinking soda anyway, so I've ordered those so that like at the end of the day, if I don't have a soda, I get a no soda sticker. Like, <laughs> and that's another thing, like I've always had a thing for stickers and now I have a reason to use them. I, this whole, this comes with the planner. It's like a little zip, zippy thingy full of stickers that I can play with. There's so many Etsy shops that make amazing planner stickers and I like every night before I go to bed I'm just looking at them like what do I need? Do I need shampoo bottles? Do I need doctor stickers? Like what do I need? <laughs> but yeah let me know if you'll be interested in me doing a full review slash how I plan video because I've been really into this thing just trying to get used to it and really know how I want to plan. And uh, yeah, I will definitely be doing that at some point, so let me know if you're into it. I lied, I have one more tangible item, and that is my iPad case. Holy shit, guys. I curse because it's that good. Now, I found this on Outlook. I actually found this a long time ago. I've always had an obsession with Ted Baker because it's really, it kind of reminds me of Kate Spade, but like a little bit different. It's really colorful stuff. I love like the pastel colors they use. And I fell in love with, um, actually Nikki Philippi had a floral one on her miniature iPad and I was like, I love that. So I was researching them one night, I found this one, but it was like a discontinued one and I was like, crap, I love that print. It's, it's something called about like London houses or London something. Um, if you can't, it's just a bunch of houses stacked on top of each other in these really cool pastel colors. I feel like I'm talking really fast. <sighs> So one day I went on Outlook and there was a Ted Baker event and I clicked it. I was definitely planning on buying a makeup bag because that's also something I really would like from Ted Baker. But those were all sold out, but hold on. Anyway, I ended up getting this for about half off, which was incredible because these are kind of expensive. Actually, I don't know if they're expensive. I think, mm, I think these are about $50, which that is expensive. And I remember I got this for $40 with like tax and shipping and everything um, which I was nervous because I also have one of those smart covers that kind of hooks on and you can fold it and it kind of bends and it can prop it up and all that kind of stuff. I showed it in my last random favorites and I was like well wait I should after I placed this order I was like no I can't use my smart cover but I totally can because the case has left room for that to clip in so you can use both and it's amazing. I also like that it has cutouts for the little um, sound guy and the volume buttons as well on top for the lock button. I really, really like this case, not only because it feels amazing, I love the print, but it's just a nice case. I do kind of miss my gold because I loved the gold of the back of my iPad, but this is just a little bit better for it. I don't have to worry about it scratching up as much. Uh, yeah, definitely impressed by the Ted Baker quality. And thank you, Outlook, for the discount. <laughs> 
I have an app favorite. I am just recently obsessed with Snapchat. I used to hate it, but that was way back in the day before um, uh, stories existed. So I've rejoined Snapchat. I'm all into the stories. I love watching people's stories. I like to make the stories, and I'm really, really into it. So go add me on Snapchat. My username is Amy Lynn Butchin, as usual. I'll spell it down below, or right here. I will spell it. <laughs> so go follow me there. I have a couple TV show faves. First is Fresh Off the Boat, which is an ABC show, which wait, we have to get this out of the way. Last month I asked you guys to watch Forever because I didn't want it to get canceled and a couple of days ago it got canceled and I'm literally devastated. Like I could have cried. I was so upset, but whatever. But Fresh Off the Boat just got renewed for a second season. It's a show about a Chinese family that comes to live in America in 1995. So me and my boyfriend like to watch it because it takes place in the 90s and we just love the 90s. Who doesn't love the 90s? But we like that. It's really, really funny. I love the woman who plays the mom. She's my favorite part. It's just a simple 30-minute sitcom that's really, really enjoyable. What I've been liking even more than that, though, is Younger, which comes on TV Land. It stars musical theater goddess Sutton Foster, which I've been such a big Sutton... <laughs> I've been such a big Sutton so Okay, I can't say that name. I've been a huge Sutton Foster fan ever since my musical theater phase hit, and she's perfect. And I love that this show is like actually doing well. It also got picked up for a second season. And she's actually really, really funny. She doesn't sing at all on this show, which is kind of like Sutton Foster's not singing. What? But yeah, it's really, really good. The guy she's dating is so hot. And if you don't know what it's about, she plays a 40-year-old who is lying about her age, saying that she's 26 in order to get a job. And then she meets these new people and she meets this guy who thinks she's 26. And it's, it's really, really good. It's really funny and fun. And again, a simple 30 minute show to watch that I've really been enjoying. And I'm losing light. I'm gonna go to Nikki's birthday barbecue now. I hope you guys are having a really good day. Um, I love you. I'll see you soon with an empties video and some drugstore reviews and some nail polish reviews. I got some good stuff coming up so subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Amy Lynn Butchin on all platforms. That is my social media name even though it's annoying. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. I love you. I hope you have a good day and yeah, bye!